Common Goblin Gaming. Hey, this is Common Goblin Gaming, your favorite sibling duo. I'm Dr. G. I'm Matt. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. We're back with more Summer of 58. Let's play. Boop. Had to boop on them. Not to. Not to. We're the Tanglewood Street House. <laughs> this is not Tanglewood Street House. The clock stopped at 3.07 a.m. Why it did that? Why it did that? I don't. The world may never know. Oh, snap. Oh, I don't have my daggone camera. I don't have my daggone camera. Okay. I can't daggone see. I guess I'm just gonna get it this way. That door is locked. Man, I cannot see shit. Where did Where your it? camera go? There it is. I think. Yes. Alright, cool. Now I can see. Now beep, I can dag on see. Beep, boop, beep. There's some weird dag on music playing. Some dag on weird music. Let's go in here. Um, they playing that shit. <laughs> We don't want to hear that. I don't even care about you stomping around until I turn off this music. Sweet. <laughs> that Rude. made me jump a little bit as you. Oop. Oh. Hey, what are you talking about? What? Into the vent? Oh. Okay. Uh huh. Fair enough, I guess. Uh huh. That box wasn't here before. Good. It's locked. It would be interesting to know what's inside. True. We gotta find a key somewhere. Who did that? Oh. Is that me? Is that us breathing really loud? I guess. It's just weird because it's. I hear it in my ears, and it sounds like it's a little bit off the side, but also, I think it's just us. <laughs> Which light was it? Eh. Nope, just start to zoom in. Ah! This one? I use my tele telepathic skills to. What is that noise? Is some pain? <laughs> yes. Oh, I need to turn the lights on. No, I don't. Turn the lights on. Yeah, there we go. Who this? Who that? Who's peeing? Uh. Hey! You look creepy, I don't like you. What is this box? I don't know, let's see. Oops. Keep pushing E on it. Uh, yeah, there's something dripping. Whoa. Can I open this? It doesn't, say, it doesn't say it's locked, but he doesn't even try to. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's who was peeing. That's a, oh. They should Why probably just. Um. <laughs> okay. They're like night two, get more scarier than night one. Yes. They probably shouldn't try peeing from the ceiling. They're gonna get <laughs> pee all over the toilet seat. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing in here, bro? I don't know if we're breathing in. Well, that's how we both immediately started to make fun of his breathing. Which is pretty terrible. He probably just has asthma or something. We're just being dicks. To be fair, I have asthma, so I'm allowed to make fun of other people with asthma. I also have asthma. Ah! The director of the pioneer camp at UNOST, Maria and Natalie. Yep. A Russian name that's hard for me to pronounce because I can barely read today. Anyway, disappeared like the rest of the camp workers. See, I can't even say the word workers. <laughs> Maria had previously taken care of children in an orphanage from 1944 to 1950. She was a caregiver who devoted herself only to work. Discipline was the most important to her. So the parents entrusted their children to her. 
Dismissed. She did something horrible to them, didn't she? They got the key for uh that one box. The box. It's locked, it'd be interesting to know what's inside. Yeah. Um what? Oh shit. Lord. <laughs> Damn. Just like that creepy little doll bitch just running around being a freaking yeah. jerk. Super loud too, so like you really need to just calm down. No, this just door is locked. Trying to figure Aww. out a mystery or something, okay? You got the key in here. Where's the key? I want it now. I want it now. It's my key, and I want it now. <laughs> we need to call J. G. Wentworth. <laughs> hey, look! It's like a chessboard or checkers, maybe. Hey, who's this? Hi there. That's a very less creepy doll, but who knows that little innocent looking doll could be running around doing creepy crap too. Hmm. Completely blark. Completely blark. <laughs> Completely blark. <laughs> Completely blark. Is there something in that box down there? There's like a... Something, like a picture. Oh. Okay, some children. 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 Oh, wait. Uh, I thought I was on something following the footprint. Can you, like, go through that way? This way? No, it's way too small. Uh, thought I was on to something. Maybe I can go to where they. Nope. Wait, maybe I can go back there. Creepy vent. Okay. We got a thing. A playground thing. Okay. So it like came out of this vent or something, but I can't like do anything with this vent. Okay. Any other stuff? Huh. Alright. Huh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> With this key, I can know how. How would you know that? Like immediately. He knows. From 1950, a loud scandal in an orphanage for orphans. <laughs> As opposed to the orphanage that is not for orphans, the nurse cruelly mocked the residents. One of the employees reported violations of authority. A decision is made to close the institution. We remind you that the shelter was opened since 1944. Children who were left without parents during the war lived there. Mm. At the orphanage for orphans. The orphanage for or orphanage. That's a, like kind of a hard thing for me to say. Orphanage for orphanage. I almost said the orphanage for orphanages. <laughs> <laughs> orphanages. <laughs> uh, dear diary, today is the annual opening day of my camp. I have been preparing for this for three years so that this summer will be special for me during these days I will bring up real people in them but they will also help me uh load wow. night of 58 oh, oh shit I was reading that too bad night of 58 oh, I must grab my fucking is that a flashlight after a severe thunderstorm, there's no... Oh. 
The doctors make the wrong diagnosis for Ivan. He needs a heart transplant, only this will help him. I no longer have the strength to fight with the doctors. I decided not to contact them again. I will heal my son myself, no matter what it takes. I don't think he can heal a heart. Someone that needs a heart transplant would just, like, uh -huh. home care, probably. Someone found and hid my key to the safe. Oh. Why'd they do that? Why'd they, yeah, why did they do that? Who that? Who that? Is this the orphanage for orphans? Yeah. This is just like that same thing, but back many oh. moons ago. Looks just as crappy. Children and caregivers are asleep. I won't bother them. I will. <laughs> Who the fuck making loud ass sounds and shit? You're gonna find another freaking key. Whoa. Anna, we need to run. It's all because of the director. I was spying on her. She was talking to someone about something bad. You have to believe me. Warn everyone. We don't have much time until I hid her key in the closet. We can make it help me. Why would you leave that note for the teacher to find? I don't know. Is he in the closet? Oh. What an asshole. What a... What a asshole. So the closet. What, what's this closet at? What are you talking about? What is this shit? It's a key. That's not a closet. The key to the safe. Let's go unlock my shit. You filthy child. Yes. Yakov Parasit stole the second gas cylinder. Oh. I need to spray sleeping gas so that all the children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and then returned back. That seems sus. The filter's missing and the glass is broken. Oh no. Who oh, knew? No. We work together with Alexei Sergevich in an orphanage. Probably the one for orphans, yeah. if I were to guess. Then I acted carelessly, and I received a complaint. The director had to close the shelter. I was suspended from medical work. Now I will not make such a mistake, because only he knows about our agreement. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys. Whoa. And Alexei Sergevich will help to perform a heart transplant operation for Ivan. According to all indicators from the medical record, Yakov is an ideal donor. I'll set up an accident and no one will look for him. Oh. That's pretty sus. Uh-huh. A special boy, Yakov, came to the camp. He has no parents or relatives. And he became my favorite because he is so similar to my son, Ivan. I really want to see him. Yakov is a good boy, although he does not speak. But he understands everything and does everything I ask. In the afternoon, I had to meet with Alexei Sergevich at the shelter where we used to work. He ordered us to fulfill our agreement tonight. This day has come. Yakov will help me with this. Before going to bed, children always invent horror stories while the counselors put them to bed. This can distract them. True. We can distract them with grapes, too. Need to put the gas cylinder under the door and go back to the classroom. Okay. I'm not really sure Wait, what's if that's a good idea, but okay. Oh no. Let's so go we're back just... to the classroom. Uh oh. I like how it like aimed me at this gas cylinder, like, oh look. Oh, what's oh. up, dog? Hey buddy. What's up? What's up, homie? <laughs> You're not gonna let me leave, eh? <laughs> Boom! Loading. <sighs> Maria's diary. Dismiss. My camera. Take that.
Uh, you already opened that, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hey. You were told to get out of here. Leave this place alone. Okay. There are empty pages left in Maria's diaz. You, diaz. Diary, you can use them to answer. I hear him standing outside the door. Oh. Okay. Well, let's write up a note. Take. Okay. I know what happened here. Let me help you. Tell me who you are. Okay. Bro, take this note. I wrote it for you. Stop turning my fucking light off. I'm gonna leave the light on so I can see what's happening. Guess it went on there. Reply back, sir. Hold on, I must get the phone. <laughs> yes. Hello. Oh, they stopped calling before I could. Before I could answer. Rude. Did you write back, sir? Oh, son of a bitch. You just ran through a closed door. Should try writing the letter again. Okay. But where'd the diary go? Oh, I already have it. I like how I write it and I set it down for me to pick up. <laughs> <laughs> I read that people were killed here. Did you do that? Tell me and then I can help you. I shouldn't even turn that on because it's going to turn it off. To do this cutscene of a black screen, basically. Mm-hmm. Wait, maybe I can turn the light on. Really, we're just here stomping and be like, it's fine. Let me see, can I turn this light on? Maybe I can go get some light bulbs again or something. Maybe. Maybe I can get the light bulbs. Oh. Oh, no. My light bulb. I had two left. Who's fucking with my light bulbs? What's this? You need to pick up a small mirror and stand in front of a large one to make a corridor. Say three times, barefoot lady, show me my fate. And I will give my shoes in return? What? <laughs> Did that bitch ever respond? Oh good, I was gonna say, this dude left me on red. <laughs> <laughs> give me that. I was accused, but I didn't do it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Why are you giggling like a creepy bitch? Who did that? I... Oh, it's... Oh, it's decided to write again. Uh -huh. I was about to ask if I could write again, but... Is your name Yaakov? Have you been living here alone for many years? For many years. Here you go, bro. Take it. Damn. Stomping around all loud like yeah, this. Yeah, seriously, shit. calm down. That one weird box is gone. You never get to look in that one. Yeah. What is that? Oh, I heard a, I heard a paper. I heard a paper. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, here I can communicate with my friends. We guard this place because it is our home. A lot of people came here just to break our things. But my friends help me to drive away strangers. I'm afraid that someone will see me and tell me that I live here and those people will come for me. Okay. Do we need to write another note? Yep. Oh, little dude's right there. Oh. What's up, little... Wait, that's a different one. Looks yeah. like that's the one that's been running around, but it's different than the one I zoomed in on earlier. Yeah. It's kind of cool. It's like, focus, unfocus, focus. True. Focus on the plugs. Focus on the lamp. Who are your friends? Why are they here too? Good question. We wrote you another note, sir. 
We should turn our light off every time to hand it to you, but... True. Even... Now we, I guess, mess around until we hear a... Reply to me, sir! Don't leave us on red. Well, thank oh. you. That was a fast reply. The spirits of this place, those who were tortured here, they remained locked up here. That day, in the evening after lights out, someone came. Probably it was the person with whom the director spoke. He didn't find me. I think that because of this, he poisoned all the residents and the director. Whoa. Oh. Well, that's mm -hmm. not Do it right again. Cool. Mm, someone was outside. Okay. Who cares? Let's just write a note. <laughs> no big deal. Just finish writing to her. Pin pal, ghosty person. All this was planned by the director of the camp? What are you talking about? What kind of person was she talking to? I'm going to turn my light on. Stop knocking on shit, bro. We're having a conversation here. Someone over there? No? Game is definitely very creepy. Uh-huh. Who out there? Who out there? Who out there? Who out there? There's a note. Uh -huh. It's all her. I saw our director talking to someone in an old hospital near the camp. They agreed that they would do their work at night. Then I realized it was connected with us, but I couldn't warn everyone. I didn't see who else was there because I was scared and hid. In the morning, I went into the building and found no one. Her safe was also not there. I thought that the man and his assistants had taken everyone away and hidden the bodies in the building. I had to stay here and live in the ventilation, only sometimes go to the rooms. Okay. Dang, he wrote this note with just a whoosh. Uh, that building abandoned? Can I get there? Abandoned the bell, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Takes the note. I'm gonna go check out over here, bro. Dude. You're in that room. Can you turn that shitty music off? <laughs> oh, is that a picture? Yeah, we wow, see that picture over that here. Big deal. Thanks, I guess. He doesn't answer anymore. It's time to go to the abandoned hospital. We need to tear the boards off the front door. Oh, okay. 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 I didn't even put them boards on the front door. Do you have a hammer? If you had a hammer, that would have been really useful long ago. Gonna pull them off, no problem. Okay. Let's -a go.